Hello everyone and welcome back to CLGT Art channel. Today this video I will show you a quick way to coloring the hair with Medibank Pen Pro. So let's start it. You can see on the screen right now is the sketch. I already sketched of the hair and I will use that hair to show you in later videos. You know that when you skate the hair like this, with this style you need to skate and make the hair would have showing the strand. Uh, clearly like that it will help you a lot later and now I will use the cheap pen here to lighten the hair here you don't have to go into the detail much in here just some light to show in the strand of the hair is enough just like what I'm doing in the screen right now so when you are finished the hair the light work you see how clean it looks and the strand will show up it will help you a lot when you color it now i will create a new layer in here and turn off the sketch layer you see there's some part that i'm not connected together so that's why i will use the pen tool here pick a color and connect all the light together and then later i will use the bucket tool to fill on the place of the hand here to create the base color of the hair so after you fill all the place here for the base color, remember to use your pen tool here to check and if there's some kind of like blank space, use your pen tool to fill all of them. Okay, uh, you're done the base color right now and now I will create a new layer, that's the layer 4 here, choose its clipping to create the shadow look. Of course, the layer 3 here will be the base color and I intend to draw the yellow color so I will pick another color with huge shadow rotation because I think it is kind of too, uh, kind of too dark for me. I want it to look more lighting, so look more gray, kind of like this, and more yellow. Okay, perfect for me now. And now go back with the layer 4 here that will be the shadow so I will pick the shadow color around in the middle of color here and I intend to create a soft shading look for this hairstyle so that's why I pick watercolor brush in here to make it and around the neck in here will be the place that the shadow cannot reach so that's why I will pan it around here you can see that the shadows in here is not look really good for me so that's why I will use the hue shadow rotation box again to pick another color and move it to the color that I think it fit for me. Okay, that's look great and now I will pick the color, this color and work with that. Continue to use the watercolor brush in here and just pan around all over the place that you think it will be have a shadow. Okay, so now this style you will see that our head is rounding like this. So you always see in the normally way that this will be the place in here that will be the place that you will pan for the lightning, right? So now that will be a little bit different. I will use that to pan the shadow like this. Remember to make sure it will look curved enough. Okay, when you are done, you will see there's a mixed color between the base color with the shadow color. So I will pick that and pan on it. You can see the effect color give for you. Look great now. See that now. The next step I will do that I will choose the transparent box in here and decrease the size a little bit to make the shining look for this one. Erase some part that it don't need to increase the size for the big strand here and here and decrease the size for some small place like this.
for some strand maybe you want to erase all of them here yeah just erase all of them so it can pop up like this one okay look great now and I want it to have the soft look so I use watercolor wet in here and pick the base color yeah that's it and drag from the down go up in here for blending do the same for the rest here to make it look more lighter and blend it okay now you see that how the effect is creating right now so you will pick the dark color here and go back with watercolor brush and decrease the side a little bit here what you're going to do now that you will add details for the shadow look so some place in here need more details more shadow so with that detail you could create the shadow look of the hair and make it look more proper and peeling light it finish So you can see there's some place that I uh, leave it blank here. You can see that I will pick the color that's mixed between the base color with the shadow colors in here and then we pan over this blank here. You can see how effect it will give you lately. Use that same color here and create some signing in this place here and here. And then go back with transparent box, decrease the sign here to create some detail for the hair to make it look like there's have every single strand here. Now you can see the result here that look really cool, right? For some place in here, I, it still look kind of dark for me and I don't like it so I will use the airbrush in here also choose the transparent box and you can see that the opacity in here is it will be lower to 18 and increase the size of this one and slightly to brush like this so it will make it look lighter and more transparent of course you can use watercolor wet and here pick the base color for blending if you want to now you are done the shadow what you're going to do next that is create the highlight create a new layer in here choose clipping and pick the base color in here drag it to uh, go to the white place in here and use watercolor wet to create the shining the highlight of the hair
After you done the stocking here, you can use watercolor wax to make it blend a little bit. For some part that you think is look too rolled, and to make it blend here. Of course, you can also erase that with the transparent box in here and see how the effect go with that. Perfect. Now, another tip is I will create a new layer in here to sleeping and I pick lighten. When uh, you know that character here, we maybe we put in some environment like there's a purple light, kind of like this. You airbrush in here and increase the size here and then slightly drag it. You can see how the color up here in the hair is here and make it look really beautiful. So that is all about this video, have fun with that and see you next time.